Okay, so this is the, um, the third part of my spotlight session on English churches. Um, we've looked at some of the books we have in the collections looking at local churches. The next book that I'm going to look at is looking at churches slightly further afield. Um, this um, is part of a collection of books that were published by a gentleman by the name of John Britton, and they are looking at the cathedral churches of the UK. Um, this particular one that I got out is Norwich Cathedral from my part of the world and Mel's. <laughs> um, and we have a number of the different parts of this, um, this set. But uh, as I say, given the choice, I went for Norwich because it's my hometown. Um, and it's, they are rather lovely books. They include a lot of plates of very intricate illustrations. Um, quite ghostly in the cloisters there. Um, and they also include um, description and um, history, important events that happened in the history of the particular church in question. Um, and they, um, yes, so they, they, they have the history, they have the information about the church, they have interesting pictures as well. Um, we have a number of these in the collection. John Britton um, was, he was born in Wiltshire, um, he was born in, in the late 18th century. He had quite a hard upbringing, he was, he was orphaned at a young age and fell into poverty and ended up trying his hand at a variety of different jobs. But his um, big break really came when he was commissioned by a publisher in Salisbury to write an account of Wiltshire um, and that was incredibly successful, very, very popular and um, he entitled it The Beauties of Wiltshire, and this was published in 1801, and it was the start of a series of these sorts of books that he wrote. So he wrote a series of books on the beauties of different counties. He also wrote books about um, antiquities of British counties and also uh, other places on the continent, antiquities of Normandy, for instance. And he wrote this series of um, cathedral antiquities. Now, the Cathedral Antiquities series has 14 different volumes in it. We don't have a complete set, we don't have all 14. We do have a number of them though, mostly stored within um, the locked cases in the main library um, as part of our general uh, special collection. Um, and they are, um, they're, 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 they're very nice, they're very interesting. They're also interesting as a stage in the development of a particular type of book, a particular type of publication. Um, it was noted that John Britton effectively created the genre of um, popular topography, so looking at the locations and histories and so on of um, particular regions. Um, and obviously, as I say, in this, in this series, he um, was focusing more on, on specific individual buildings. Um, and as I said, in, in, in his time, these were incredibly popular. Um, they um, were published um, either as sets or individually and um, seem to have done incredibly well. So, um, this book, as I say, the one I've got out is The History of Norwich. Um, not in a terribly good state, this one, unfortunately. But what's also interesting about this one is that in the very front of the book, if I can turn the page, which I seem to be unable to do, there we go, um, we also have effectively an advert, um, a catalogue of these works on um, antiquities by John Britton. And this in itself is, is rather lovely. It's, it's quite extensive. It's got interesting little um, pictures in it. And it lists the various volumes of the different series that he did. So this in itself is quite interesting as um, a little insight into book publication and book selling um, at the end of the 18th, early 19th century. Um, and the notion that somebody who was interested and sufficiently wealthy to have bought a volume of this particular, might, uh, this particular series might well be interested and want to know more about what else was available. So, so that's another interesting little, little part of the history within this book.